Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a story about the farmer and his horse. And as you can see, it's lovely weather today, it's raining, and it's the perfect kind of weather to tell this story in. So, where do we begin? But with the farmer. So there's a farmer at a farm, and he has a horse and a son. And one day, the, the horse decides he's had enough of the farm, and he fucks off. He just runs off. And the neighbor of the farmer sees this and runs to the farmer immediately and tells him, you know, your horse, he's ran away. You know, what bad luck this is. And the farmer shrugs. The next day, the son returns to the farm with the horse in a leash in his hand, along with several other horses that he had gathered up in the town. Obviously, they went out to have a bit of a party. The horse wanted to let off some steam. He was tired of having to plow so hard at work on the farm, he just needed a break. So the boy retrieved him, came back with more horses. The neighbor sees this and he runs to the farmer and he tells him, look, you, your horse has come back. And now you've got, you know, several more horses on top of it. You know, what great luck you have. And the farmer shrugs. Third day, the boy is saddling up the horse, the original horse. And because it's a little bit edgy, it's still coming down from its party the night before, it kicks the boy over and breaks his leg. Breaks the boy's leg. Uh, at this point, the neighbor, you know, just poof, you know, appears in front of the farmer and says, you know, your, your boy's broken his leg. You know, how unfortunate, you know. This is horrible. And the farmer shrugs. The fourth day, the, uh, the, the army, you know, conscription dudes start rolling through town, finding anyone that's over the age of 15 to fight in this bloody, unjust war where thousands are going to die. This is going to be bloodshed. It's going to be brutal, you know. And they finally get to the farmer's house, and they take one look at the boy, and they go, well, this guy can't fight in a war. He's got a broken leg. The farmer sees this. And, you know, goes, uh, the neighbor sees this, goes to the farmer and tells him, you know, your son doesn't have to go to the war, you know, and fight and die. What a miracle. You know, how fortunate. And the farmer shrugs. At which point the boy probably starts to cry a little bit because, you know, it's like, when are you going to start giving your shit, dad? But, uh, you know, the farmer shrugs. And the point of the story is that good and bad and fortunate and unfortunate and tragedy and opportunity or miracle you know crisis and opportunity tragedy and miracles it's all a frame of reference it's all a frame of reference what is good today might very well be bad tomorrow and what is tragic today a tragic set of circumstances might very well lead you to a very fortunate and miraculous set of circumstances next week and that's the idea of the story is, you know, that life is forever changing and the, the frames of which you, you know, develop your perspective and define good and bad and all these different values, they change. And so does the way that you relate to life. So when bad things happen and bad things get you down, and they will, every hill goes down, just remember that it's part of a bigger picture and it's probably going to pick up at some point. And it's just one stepping stone on your journey. And where you are now, you know, where I am now, I wouldn't change all the bad things that have happened to me because I wouldn't be exactly where I am now, and I'm happy where I'm at now. So, when you're frowning, remember you've got every reason to smile, and when you smile, remember you will have every reason to frown. It's just a matter of time, but if you keep a big picture perspective on it, then you can just shrug anything off. Thank you.